Welcome to Better Living with Adrian. We're joined with Debbie Mancini Wilson, my creativity expert and the author of a wonderful book called Color My World. We're talking about creativity, and today we're talking about creativity and how it helps adults. Right. Uh, something that you recently have um, been doing over the past couple of years mm -hmm. is going into corporations or companies and helping the adults to be more effective and more productive in their jobs. Mm -hmm. So, um, and we everybody needs that really these days. So, but I'm just wondering, connect that for us. How, sure. can, how do we get creativity and, and using that and being more productive? Okay. First and foremost, you have to allow yourself some quiet time. You have to be able to um, reflect on whatever the task at hand is. If you're in sales and you need to increase your productivity, if you are working in a cubicle and a boss hands you a project to do, mm -hmm. how do you wrap your brain around that project all of a sudden? First of all, the most important thing is to make it personal. You have to find a way to make it personal. Okay. Because everybody just wants to know, well, why should I care? Okay. So you got to find a way to make it personal. And care. And care Give about Give yourself it. some quiet time. Mm -hmm. And then the biggest thing that you say yeah. is, is... Think like a kid. you got to pull all five senses into it. First thing a kid wants to do is touch it, smell it, feel it. You know, you've got to use all five senses. And you say, admittedly, creative. you say, you know, you may think that this sounds kind of silly. Yeah, absolutely. People just look at me like I have three eyes. What do you want me to do? But once we start the exercises and they see that they are, you know, we're, the world's, the corporate world world is a lot different than it used to be. First of all, you know, that we have less people doing more jobs. Mm -hmm. So we can't just stay in our niche. Mm -hmm. We have to be creative. Mm -hmm. In order to be more productive. Absolutely. So think like a kid, allow yourself some quiet time, make mm -hmm. it personal, mm -hmm. and all those things. Permission can. to play. Permission to play, of course. Debbie Mancini Wilson coming up. More Better Living Tips. We're joined with Adam Strumfeld from Joe Canals and California's Wine Central for the United States. Napa and Sonoma, however, are not the only wine areas to visit when you're in California. Correct. You so, can fly into San Luis Obispo, which is the central coast. It's mm -hmm. located about halfway between LA and San Francisco. Okay. And very atypical of Napa and Sonoma. It's not a Cabernet region per se. They're really known for their petite Syrahs, their red zins, their blends. And it's totally a different kind of atmosphere when you're down there. It's a little, yeah. little less formal, a little less Structured when you're there. There's not as many visitors to that those wine areas as there are in Napa and Sonoma, but there still are some fantastic wineries there. Well, and I think that's the point, is there's still merit to their wine There really is. There's some great wineries, something like Peachy Canyon, it's fantastic, Four Vines, and they make really highly rated wines that are really fun as so well. So try something different in California. You got it. Thank you so much, Adam Strumfeld from Joe Canals.